Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. Thank you all so much for taking the time to support the channel. I hope you're having a magical day. Back with a new standard mythic rank best of one brew. In today's video, we'll break down the deck list to talk about the strategies and the synergies held within, demonstrating this within the mythic rank gameplay footage against the best decks and players in the world right now. Wrapping up with our final thoughts, deck review, and store exploration. Your boy's been spending some of that million gold buying some packs. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so yet. You can also become a YouTube member for exclusive early access to all of our content ad-free, as well as that Sunday members-only stream where you can challenge me directly for bragging rights. Thanks again, and let's take a look at the deck. All right, here we are. The Zergza deck, which is an Azorius control build. Uh, it does just that. It Zergs out the matches through, um, you know, just two for ones, three for ones, four for ones. Uh, it's all here. It depends how big you want to go. At the end of the day, uh, the meta is very aggro. So to be able to play a control deck with such success is phenomenal. And let me tell you what, uh, you know, Urza, Lord Protector, and furthermore, Urza Planeswalker, which is one of the new meld cards in uh, Brotherhood's War, Brotherhood's End. Uh, end is the card, War is the set. Anywho... Um, what a fantastic card that can generate nearly infinite value, dare I say it. It feels that way. First off, you need the Urza Lord Protector in play, as well as the Might Stone and the Weak Stone. More on that in a second. First and foremost, Artifact, Instant, and Sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. Then we'll pay seven, and if you, of course, own and control both the Urza Lord Protector, protector and the artifact named might stone and weak stone exile them meld them into the planeswalker at sorcery speed all right so uh, before we get to the planeswalker let's take a look at the might stone this is a little bit more expensive but keep in mind that urza will reduce the cost of the artifact by one when it enters the battlefield you get to choose one either draw two cards or target creature gets minus five minus five until the end of turn additionally we can tap the might stone to add two generic mana spending these on uh, creature abilities, artifact spells, um, just not non-artifact spells, right? All right, so when we get these both in play, the Might Stone and Weak Stone now generates that two mana to help us pay for the Lord Protector's ability of seven. So really only costing five now because of that two mana reduction and then melding them into the Planeswalker. You may activate loyalty abilities of Urza planeswalker twice each turn rather than only once seven starting loyalty okay plus two <laughs> what artifact instant and sorcery spells you cast this turn cost two less to cast and you'll gain two life plus one draw two cards and then discard a card zero create two one one soldier artifact creature tokens minus three exile target non-land permanent lol and minus 10 artifact and planeswalkers you control gain indestructible until the end of turn and then destroy all non-land permanents. So that's pretty cool. You get to save your stuff, wipe everything else. Um, you know, the double activation is absolutely nutty. The fact that it comes in at seven, you can plus four, put it to 11 and then minus 10 is, uh, well, it's ridiculous. And uh, shout outs to the new set, Phyrexia All Will Be One, Peripheralate proliferates mechanic uh which could maybe even make that even earlier uh, I, don't, I don't even want to get into it who knows where this goes um more of those spoiler videos coming out soon so you know that's what we're going to be doing within the deck it's a control deck that we want to be melding the weak stone and the protector into the urza planeswalker building around that helping us get there it's going to be the celestis for three mana tapping for any color uh we can also switch between day and night for three and the tap manually it will automatically start the cycle when it enters play and then you know when that cycle triggers each way day to night night to day um you're going to gain one life and have the opportunity to draw a card and then discard a card which is quite nice so you know helping you work through your deck buffing your life total uh ramping you up the celestis does it all then we have a Teferi who slows the sunset for four mana, four starting loyalty, plus one. 
Uh, choose up to one target artifact, up to one target creature, and up to one target land. Untap or tap those uh, permanents. Uh, I guess untap your permanents, tap their permanents is how it reads, and gain two life. So, you know, the Celestis, the weak stone, now can double generate mana as well as a land. That's going to help you ramp out. Furthermore, uh, minus two, look at the top three cards of your library, put one into your hand, the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. This is going to help you find uh, whatever you need for the specific situation you find yourself. Minus seven, you get an emblem with untap all permanents you control during each opponent's untap step. Oh my gosh. And then you draw a card during each of their draw steps as well. That's one of the wackiest emblems we've seen in, in a while. You know, when you start judging these uh, ultimate abilities or these emblem abilities, uh, compare it to Teferi's, you know. Okay, so we have a Wandering Emperor as well, since we're on Planeswalker lane. Four mana, three starting loyalty with flash, can activate loyalty abilities at instant speed the turn it enters play. Plus one, add a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. It'll gain first strike until the end of turn. Minus one, creating a two, two Sammy with vigilance. And uh, minus two here, you get to exile tapped creature, gain two life. It's a beautiful control card with uh, you know the ability to generate value turn after turn. There's a Teferi Temporal Pilgrim here. Uh, four starting loyalty, five mana, static ability that states whenever you draw a card, add a loyalty counter to Teferi. Zero to draw a card, which may as well, well, it would not be a plus one because then it would be plus two, but you, you get it. You, it. It is a plus one to the character through the draw. Uh, minus two, creating a token with that same static ability, accumulating those plus one, plus one counters whenever you draw to two, two with vigilance. And then finally, minus 12, target opponent chooses a permanent they control, returns it to their hand, and then puts all of their other non-land permanents uh, into their library, which is pretty darn coolio, if you ask me, a field wipe in blue. All right, so that's kind of what we're working with uh, for our Planeswalkers for the artifact ramp to help us get there. Uh, at the end of the day, farewell for six mana, sorcery speed, choose one or more, destroying all, uh, sorry, not destroying, exiling all artifacts, creatures, enchantments, and graveyards, everything but Planeswalkers, which is what we are looking to capitalize on. Uh, sometimes the artifacts are yay or nay. You might not want to take them. You might want to, depending on what your opponent has, because your Might Stones and Weak Stones and Celestes, keep in mind. All right, moving away from this, uh, we've got some draw through Memory Deluge. Look at the top X, where X is the mana spent. Flashback for seven, so originally looking for four, and then casting from your grave, looking at seven. Put uh, two of those cards into your hand, which is great. We have Silver Scrutiny for two plus X at sorcery speed. Looking, uh, sorry, not looking, drawing X cards, and it has flash if X was three or more. I get some of the cards confused. I really should just RTFC, bruh. So that's kind of what we have uh, in the deck for draw. More field control through four copies of Depopulate. Sorcery speed for four. Each player who controls a multicolored creature will draw a card. Looking at you, Urza. And then destroy all creatures. Worst case scenario, right? And that's why we have multiple Urzas. And we can potentially bring them back with a devious cover up for four at instant speed. Counter target spell. If that spell was countered, exile it instead. And then we may shuffle four cards from our graveyard into our library. A lot of removal within the deck. You know, lay down arms, sorcery speed, exile creature with mana value less than or equal to the number of planes you control. Its controller gains three life. We utilize Rafine's Tower and Spara headquarters for the planes while having the uh, island or blue source available for us here as well, which is quite nice. So lay down arms, uh, well positioned in the deck to remove creatures. We have Fading Hope, Instant Speed, Return Target Creature to its owner's hand, mana value 3 or less, Scry 1. We like to Scry. March, Re casting cost reduced by 2 for every white card exiled from your hand. Nice. And it can exile target artifact, creature, or enchantment with mana value X or less. Make Disappear, countering target spell unless its controller pays 2. Casualty for 1, allowing us to sacrifice a creature to copy it. Fateful Absence for 2, destroying creature or planeswalker. The controller will investigate, which will result in the generation of a clue token, which can be sacrificed to draw a card. Sometimes we hit our own things with this. More on that in today's gameplay. Because you may as well, if it's going to be removed anyways, and they don't have anything to remove, you may as well grab that draw for yourself. And then, of course, you know, these lands can also be cycled to help us find what we're looking for. The Might Stones uh, generic mana can be used to cycle, which is nice. It can be also... Uh, pushed into the blast zone, which is pretty cool to uh, uh, sacrifice it for three and a tap to destroy each non-land permanent with mana value 
equal to the number of charge counters on the blast zone and then putting counters on it with double x and a tap which again you know really easy to do with that might stone and weak stone in play that is the deck i believe we've talked about everything in the build uh again a fantastic control deck right now and uh urza lord protector is so freaking busted it was busted when we first got the set and we're playing with it it remained busted through you know kind of that discovery phase of meta decks in the set and honestly i still think when we're nearing the next set it's i get it controls hard to play and the matches are super long but uh like it's it's really good you know with that being said thank you all for watching coming to my ted talk hope you have a magical day enjoy today's gameplay footage consider liking the video commenting on the video subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so yet join that discord and then if you want to support uh and gain access to all of our deck lists uh you can just link your discord which whichever platform you support on whether it's youtube twitch patreon That'll give you direct access to the VIP chat in my Discord. Here you'll find a pinned post that will give you access to my untapped profile. So you can see all the deck lists and the stats as I do them day to day live. You don't even have to wait for the YouTube video if you don't want. Of course, you'll also gain access to the Sunday members only uh, stream, which is cool. Anyway, you know, let's play some magic and climb some rank, baby. Alrighty, our opponent thinks they're gonna win this game. I'm gonna mulligan for three land. I've bricked all day. I'm not bricking anymore. Three land or go away. And then I'll brick. Right? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. You know what we've not played with? Rafine. Or Zer. There's a couple broken Esper decks I've forcefully, you know, kind of pushed out of my my own reality because I don't like them in the meta so I don't want to showcase them so more people play them uh but it's getting to the end of the meta where I think you know it's kind of okay to be a little bit toxic if you wanted to building into the might stone building into the emperor building into farewell you know we're gonna look for that second uh, island or blue source for teferi still but we'll get it eventually you know, we were thinking about Buster. Probably should have added it, but whatever. You can't tell me what to do. Let's go up to two. Probably park it at four. Either two or four. Pass turn. They draw again. Ridby! It's good. That's, you know, the Bank Buster is a fantastic card. And I don't know why we don't have it in the list. We probably should add it. And pretend it was there the whole time. Let's pull a Counterspell. Without doubt. It's so easy. Make Discipline. Make eight. Interesting. You can't tell me what to do. Double counter? Okay. Thank you. For the sake of the future, I will defend the past. Brotherhood's end? Eyes Hit them both. You know? That's what I'd like to see. Stop by, uh, you know, manifesting your own demise, bro. Probably not the healthiest thing to do. I mean, now it's close. Uh, I'm sure I'll laugh about this later. <laughs> we were close. Tower. Stone. Draw two. Now's their chance. I'm tapped. The cityscape leveler gonna kill my might stone. Real rude boy. Hmm. 
You're a legend, Harry. You gonna crew that? Hit for 4 to 16. Or not. Ah, oh, it's a dumb power stone. So it does not matter. Let's just grab it all. Stern lesson. Draw, discard, power stone. More cityscapes will be our worry. Mm, busters are good. Illegal! Good sustained to draw, right? Turn after turn. Kill the buster. Right, we get it. We double draw still. So, I mean, I think it's worth taking. We have plenty of land. They can counter our counter. It's gonna be what it is. Unless they have no mana. Please and thank you. I love that farewell back. Not the land though, Rand. Pulling up to nine mana. They have three, six, nine as well. Ten with the stone. Ooh, drawing two. I like it. I need to draw a spell. Big time. Big boy draw a spell. <laughs> Stop it. Really? Is that a roadside too? Yes. 35 left in their deck. No, you go. All right? <clears throat> Very cool. You've done it. Counter bait, you know? Get after it. No? That's two cityscapes gone and a skitter beam. Are they running four of each? Question mark. Just making devils. I'll scry that. I'll scry to that. Absolutely. I guess we didn't need to. That is the worst. Hit for two. You can just settle down over there. Ooh, 
This is sorcery speed. One, so we have three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> I think a second depopulate would be fine if they spaz into the field here. Down to 16. They will not stop. That's their third cityscape. Go, go, gadget, Urza. Next. And turn. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh my gosh. They did it. Hello. Goodbye. All right, that's their third cityscape. One skitter beam. What else do we have to face down with zero cards in our hand? <laughs> oh, three damage. Interesting. Still alive. What you got? Another? What you got, Willis? Two mana. Not. This late in the game, make disappear being viable is incredible. That's outrageous, you know? I don't own and control them both. They cost two less? One less. Go, go, gadget. Draw two cards. Ah, late game. Those may not be the worst. We got a lot of planes in play. Their sorcery speed, which sucks, but whatever. Can I get my Urza, please? Four cards in their hand. Let's see once and for all if we've got a better gaming chair than they do. No! I guess we don't. That's how you tell. Bro. Stop. Am I gonna kill my Rafine Tower? Outrageous. Thin my library for me at this point in the game? Okay. Actually. It's all about the planes, you know. This might take a while. <laughs> Bro, can I have your might stone? That's not funny. I mean, a backup copy's cool, I suppose. It's done six damage now, right? We're getting in there, getting after it. 
They are flooding like no one I've ever seen flood. Do they have counter magic? They have to have counter magic. In what world wouldn't they? Man, this place is flooded. Well, I can cast it for three anyways. Well, I still want X equals three. Cycle it. Celestis in place, pretty cool. They interact with our Urza, I'll just absence it and draw. There's no need to force the Celestis yet. Mm -hmm. Killing the Celestis, interesting. I just want to keep that at two, I believe. Let's hit for two. Draw two, if we can, I hope. Counterspell territory here for sure. Heck yes. Good for you. I believe I have one more. And Devious cover-up can ground them back. Oh no, that's it. That's that's all three of them. <laughs> Aye. One, two, three. Okay, yeah. Fable. That's cute. Play your other cards. Yes! Lay him in there, baby. Let's go. I mean, it's going to die anyways, right? So let's see if they're going to double block. I'll take the draw. Thanks. Oh, farewell. Oh, farewell. Do they have one counter in hand? The patience. No. I'm back. They would be extra patient if it was a counter now. What? It's because we could pay for it. That's why they didn't play it. <laughs> Poor soul. They're f well, I have 12 lands. They have 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 lands. You're outrageous. Bro, you're wild. Grab a card. Oh, oh, oh. Next 
Well, it doesn't hurt. We devious cover and grab our might stone back. 18 cards in deck, they're at 16. What a fantastic match. Really, really good. I'm actually going to zed that. My bad, sorry. I'll attack first. And then untap it. It's good manners, you know? We don't really need to do the land. It's just, it just doesn't matter. I get the blocker. The land remains untapped anyway, so... Ward Arbor. More ruins. More reliquaries. Thanks. I think they're nicing their lands. And I'm saying thanks for the sequin. Alright, they slash my blast zone. That's cool. Very funny, bro. I mean, I guess we already have eight planes. Do you ever need to go higher? I mean, that hits Skitter Beam, right? It hits. Also, their uh, cityscape. All right, let's smash. Emperor out. Plusing on to Urza. I've learned Thank much you. During my travels. That is an aggro way to use. The Wandering Emperor, but I think the most effective right now. Counterspell protects us. Oh, we exiled our grave with that last farewell. My bad. There goes our Might Stones. We should have left the grave. But I guess it doesn't matter. You know, we're in striking distance anyways, because we're at three, and then the Emperor will push to four, and that's going to be lethal. All right, land looks good. Hand looks phenomenal. Fourth land confirmed as well for the Might Stone. So three Celestis, four and five is Might Stone. Mm, no. I'll wait. It could be worse, you know, it could be an Adeline. And we don't want that, do we, chat? Illegal! Probably is, since I was trash talking. Hmm. I mean... I guess... The minus five can hit that, you know? Hope is up still. It is confirmed mono white. Um I guess I won't cast my Oh, because she's entered and she shuts down the abilities. <laughs> what a good card. So we're just forced to deal with it. I should have hoped the Guardian before it entered play. It's overlooked, you know. I cannot be the only one overlooking this card. Here it is again. Dang. You're a legend, Barry. One, two, th three, puts it to four. Okay. It really stops our Celestis from cycling too, because now we're forced on to, you know, do that on our own turn. Okay. 
All right. So we can kill it with our blast zone. Down to 12, though. This thing is annoying. Stop it, Randy. And turn Celestis fires up now. Drawing and now discarding, keeping the planes for lay down arms. The foundry coming in for the enlist. It's good. It's good. I mean, we're down to nine, right? We can still make disappear, so it's it's fine to do. Ah, the indestructible though. Down to nine. Ouch! Cast something big. <laughs> no thanks. I get it. 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 Ooh, put a stop. It was nighttime there, I forgot. Cycle. Okay, we get the exile. The land is so annoying here, though. Right? Because now they hit for five, we're down to four. We're still getting hit with the land after this, though. Ay, 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 papi. Big hit, you know? There's three cards in hand as well. Last turn, it's got to be the Wandering Emperor. Did I have Hexproof? Anyone who harms my people must contend with me. Take the land. Down to one. Uh, and then up by two to three. Other order. Up to, I guess, six, then down to three. Oh, that's good. Cycle first. Depopulate. They get the 1-1. One, one. We make a 2-2. Two, two. Mm. Attempt to counter, they might pay for. Stops them from doing anything else, and the token would have been gone anyways. 
So this way we could potentially deal with a creature. If a one. Don't think that's gonna be enough. Hmm, my bad. <laughs> my bad. We've got blocker. Which is actually a little bit better now. But they might just pass tonight, right? Or have more removal. This is probably the best way to do it. You know. It's hard to say. Down to two. Guardian out. If, yes, of course it is, Thalia. Activate ability. This is close. Gotta be the zeros. My army never tires. I'm just gonna grab the life. I hope uh we'll actually just decline. I don't wanna throw away my best card or anything. Oh, you are a lucky. It's nighttime. We are lucky. <laughs> Damn. Good thing we switched it. Down to one. We can't pay the ward. Farewell. Where are you? That's never a predictable outcome. Perfectly obedient, as all soldiers should be. Past turn, we can cycle here. Guardian's good. We only need one life, you know? They attack, for sure. I'll allow it. That is life gain, you know? Should've used a Celestis for mana, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Domain. Two more pieces fall into place. What if we just go like this, force it, they take a token, and then I blast them? You know? Problem solved. Decline. Get blasted. Right? Or 
the fun. Just a white damage based spell, could you imagine? <laughs> okay. It's daytime, so let's just not cast. Draw. Thank you. At any cost. More creatures. Each device has a role in my plan. Add blue mana. Oh, that's a. Uh... No, 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 cancel. Artifact first. Then creature, then land. Keep her out. Take the exile, gain life. Okay. What a comeback. That was incredible. All right. All right, all right, all right. I love Urza. Zergza, if you will. I think that uh, it is best positioned in Zorius. However, if you wanted to play Asper or Jezekai Bant, one of the three color um, variants, I think possible. However, maybe a little less consistent. With this being said, um, very excited for the next round of tournaments to come out, as I think control will begin to shine you know uh through the discovery phase uh of the meta you know there's the aggro decks and then come the mid-range decks and now i think uh people have a good grasp of everything that's going on and i think uh, we'll see some more control decks roll out to compete with the grexus mid-range build anyways have a magical day let's uh open a pack i guess right not open pardon me by hit the store Grab our goodies. I think I'm collecting Dominaria right now. So we go packs. Do, 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 do. Buy three of them because we can still afford it. I might have to go down to one soon because we're definitely not going below. One million gold. And what does that put us at? Here, Dominaria, Dominaria, Dominaria. 23. Getting closer day by day. And you can see how much work I have to do, right? That's a lot of packs to still buy to get us up to this uh, beloved number of ours. Have a magical day, everyone. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you soon in the next. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, YouTube memberships, and uh, yeah, just take care of yourself, you know?